everybody, everyone here. Welcome to another Let's Play episode of Nothing. It is another Terra episode, as you can see. I did get a request to play more Terra, and I'm more than happy to oblige because I do very much love this game. So I, um, I thought I would show you guys a little bit more of what Terra looks like. In the initial video, I just gave you some basics on the gameplay itself, but the game is quite beautiful. In my opinion, it is still one of the most beautiful Korean MMORPGs out there. And I thought I would just kind of maybe go around and show you guys some of my favorite zones so you guys can just get a better feel of the world of Terra. Just what is it like inside Terra. And if I see any like special events or cute little things like that or anything unusual or weird or fun, I will definitely include that as well just so you guys can get a better feel of the immersion and what it would be like to play in this game. So for the purpose of this, I will be playing a high level character just so that I have better access to everything. So um, I'm just trying to figure out who should I play. You guys can see all my, <laughs> my characters lined up here. By the way, the loading screen, the way it looks now, it was not always like this. It was just kind of like a planar selection screen and this cool badass walk they all do towards you now is has been implemented I think only just about a year and a half ago or so. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick my hunter um, just because I don't know she's lovely and I love her. <laughs> I worked so hard on all the outfits for my characters in fact you know what I'm gonna go ahead and show them off a little bit for you. This is my Valkyrie she is one of the newest, actually she is the newest class to come to the game. This class is only a couple of months old. It is the latest one that's been released. And Valkyrie is basically like a melee pole arm class. And this is the outfit that I got for her. Um, this is my Mystic. The Mystics are magic users. Not to be confused with like the mage or the priest, they're their own separate thing and they're kind of like in between of a damage and a support class, but they're not quite full blown versions of either one. So they do a little bit of damage and they do a little bit of healing, but they're not a full blown damage or full blown healing class. They're kind of like a mage and a priest simultaneously. Now, let's see, Berserker is another melee class and they wield these massive scythes or massive hammers. It's just up to you what kind of weapon you'd like them to use, but I thought it would be really hilarious to have a really tiny person wield the biggest weapon you've ever seen, the size of which is bigger even than my tallest character. So that's why I did that. The hunter you guys just saw. Um, what I love about my hunter is her bow actually and you will get to see it better once I zone into the game and use it a little bit. She has a very samurai looking bow it even has flowers on it. It's just I don't know I thought I love that bow so much and she was actually the first character that I have ever played in this game and even gotten to max level. I loved the way hunters worked in this game but then they nerfed them terribly and they stopped doing a lot of damage so I moved on to other characters. I have a maxed out priest as well. Um, I mean, her outfit's pretty self-explanatory. She has a halo, but she is no means innocent. She has that sort of queen of darkness thing going on, even though she's going to be the one that's saving you. So, you know, don't stand in the fire where she won't heal you. She's that kind of priest. I have a brawler. The brawler was also one of the newer classes to be released. Um, I'm trying to remember. It was the third to most recent. Yeah. And brawlers are tanks and damage dealers. Mostly use tanks. And they use massive fist weapons. Um, and they literally just punch their mobs to death. The ninja is my current favorite. But I'm not going to be playing her today because I need a high level character. And unfortunately I didn't get a chance to get her maxed out. But I love, 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 love the Ninja class. It has been the second to latest one. It was released just before the Valkyrie. It is the most fun I've ever had playing in Terra. And that says a lot because the Gunner was my favorite for a really, really long time. And that's the one I'm going to show you guys next. This little girl right here. She's the one you saw in the last video. That um, She was a new character. Um, well, not so new, but newer, and she was the one that I played and dressed up and all that stuff in my last video to show you guys how the game works. Um, the Gunner was basically my favorite class up until the ninjas came out, 
uh, and a gunner is it's self-explanatory. You use a massive gun and you just shoot everything. It's they're so much fun to play. They're beast. They're super strong. Easy to solo with. I would have to say that um, the most recent classes have been the strongest so far. So if you want a class that totally wrecks when you initially start playing Terra, then either play a a gunner, a brawler a ninja or a valkyrie. They're the strongest classes out right now because they are the newest and I know that's not really fair but that's just how the game, the game ends up tending to be. So let's go back to the hunter and zone on in. You guys can see one of the loading screens. You can see in the upper right corner it says Terror Reward 6. Um, you get there's a, a, a point system the game has called EMP and Mass Points and Mass is the company that released Terra. And what you can do is you can purchase those points with real money or you can pay somebody gold in game and they'll use their points to purchase something for you. And it's usually used for cosmetic items such as outfits, mounts, pets, things like that. But it could also be used for consumables and things like that as well in the en masse store, which you cannot actually access from inside the game. So if you'd like, I will, when I zone in, I will just show you guys a bit of a preview so you guys can see what that's like. And um, the more a EMP that you spend, the higher your uh, rewards level gets, and you then have a separate little reward system that you can, based on your tier and the amount of points you, separate points you've amassed based on these points. I know it's like points upon points upon points. It's complicated, but um, essentially, it gives you access to items that you cannot achieve otherwise. You can literally only have access to them if you spend and mass points and depending on the level you are is the level of items that you can access um the welcome screen you get every day you get this calendar every day i've shown that to you guys before so i'm going to go ahead and claim the stuff that i'm a little bit behind on it's kind of cool that i can claim too that was neat oh yeah um i'm going to go ahead and show you um really quickly um i have elite status enabled right now just because I wanted you guys, um, I mean, I prefer having elite status, and I bought it with gold, I didn't pay any money for it, you can purchase an elite status voucher with in-game gold, which is exactly what I did, and I just prefer to have it because it's easy, just, it's, there's enough bonuses that it warrants having it, so, this shows you the item level that your character currently has, <clears throat> I didn't really go over this in the last video, so I'm going to do that now, this is my current gear item level, red bar is health, Blue bar is mana. Um, those are the only two things your character will have. It doesn't matter what class you play in this game. You will have health and mana no matter what class you choose. This game has channels, which is nice. Now, it has multiple servers, but when you're on that server, you can also be on a different channel on the same server. This one only has one in this zone, but more often than not, when you go, it will have multiple channels per zone so that it's not overly saturated for gameplay. Let's say, for example, you go to an area and you're trying to do a quest, but there's so many people questing in the same area, they're just killing all the mobs, they're not respawning fast enough, it's taking forever for you to get yours done. You simply go to this drop down menu and you select a different channel, one that says low, as opposed to a channel that says high or medium, which is the channel you probably defaulted into, and it will refresh your screen, you will be on the same server, in the same area, in the same exact spot, but there will be no people around you, or at least not the same people that were around you initially, and you can do what you have to do. Now, I'm going to get out of here because um, the cities have been super laggy lately. Like, you can see, it's like one frame rate right now, so I'm just going to move so I can go to... Um, oh my goodness, this is terrible. Uh, you know what? No, I'm not even going to do this. I'm going to really quickly teleport out of here and i'm going to teleport to i think the first place that i want to show you guys anyway which is lumber town so i'm going to teleport there real quick show you the stuff that i was talking about in the beginning and then i'm going to show you the actual zones i just want to get out of velika velika is like the city that everybody goes to hang out and that's fine but lately they've been having really bad lag issues so whenever you're in velika or any of the major cities it will drop down to like one frame per second like you cannot move it is so frustrating you can't get anything done i hate it you guys wouldn't like it very much either so i don't want to torture you with just staring like it'll basically look like a screenshot instead of a video which is terrible okay see this is a little bit better i'm not gonna go inside the town because it's gonna be kind of lagging there as well so i'm just gonna go up on this pretty hill and you guys can see this pretty area 
This is Lumbertown. This is one of the very first places that you um, would go initially. I don't think you still go here now. They've kind of revamped the way the quests are done. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that a little bit. And I'll fly around a little bit just for you guys. But initially, I want to show you the thing that I was talking about. So, now, I was talking about the complicated point system. Um, I'm going to go ahead and find that. They've changed uh, the UI a little bit as well. So, just give me a moment to orient myself. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and decline this guild invitation. I don't want to be in your guild. No, thank you. I forgot to learn some of my skills. So, like, I should probably do that. Um, I didn't talk about this either, I think. When you gain a new skill after leveling up, you'll just get like a notification and when you go to your skill um, to your skill tab, you no longer really have to pay anything to gain the skills before you have to buy them. And I think, oh well, they, yeah, no, you do still have to pay for them. Um, I think, but it was something else before, like you had to go to a non-player, an NPC, and like learn them. Now they'll just pop up over there and you'll just have them. I don't think I have enough gold on me to learn them all now. Maybe. Um, you press K for skill and this stuff will pop up and then you just click on it and click learn. Um, okay, see, yeah, I'm not going to have enough money to learn all of these but that's fine. I'll do that later. Um, I just want to show you guys how this works. And then once you, you also have glyphs, which is like points, a point system, like a talent system that you put into the skills to make them stronger. You can see um, on the bottom of the tab, it says glyph points. I have 53 out of 55 points already allocated. So that means I have two points left to allocate. And the glyphs you can see, the ones that are um, lit up are the ones that I've selected. The ones that are grayed out are the ones that I have not selected. Not all of the skills have them, but the majority of them will. And they're mostly stuff like, you know, to give yourself some extra damage or to lower the cooldown. Like, for example, I have this trap over here. And I have the glyph enabled, empowered incendiary trap. It increases the skill damage by 25%. So that means that this ability will now be 25% stronger. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to find what I was talking about. I apologize that I'm not being very, um, I don't know, like well versed in it anymore because I haven't played in a while and they kind of changed some stuff around. Um, I might as well show you guys. If you purchase an item or anything like that or you get like gifted an item based on the account you have, like in my case, I have a lot of account items because I'm a founder. They will be in the item claim and you literally will just like you click on it and then click use and it'll pop into your bag and over here i did say that i was going to show you guys the store um so they have this new thing now called the dressing room and essentially you can try on like every single type of costume or piece of gear available to you in the game and I do believe that depending on what you look at, it might also show you how you can purchase that. Like for example, here is one of the newest mounts. Oh my God, I didn't see it before in person. It is really cute. It's a flying bunny. Oh my God. Okay, I'm sorry. And over here you can click purchase and it'll take you to the store and you can buy it at the store if you have enough EMP. Or if you just wanted to try on an accessory, like these wings look super cool. So see, now she's wearing the wings. Oh my God, those are so pretty. And again, you can click purchase and I'm just gonna click on it like a dummy so you guys can see. It'll take you to the Terra store, right to that item and you can then purchase it. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this. The store separately has its own button right here. You can go on the store online on the website, of course, but you can also access it now in game and it will have all the newest items under featured. This is all the stuff that just came out recently. They have these amazing new flight suits. They basically look like, I guess, you know, like, like a superhero suit, like, like think of Iron Man, but sexier and with wings and you can also fly. Iron Man can fly, but like in this game you need a flying mount. But in this game for the first time ever, you get a costume that is simultaneously a flying mount. Now that is 
pretty amazing. So there's that. Um, and there's different ways of getting these items. You can flat out just like buy the costume and pay however much it is. Like in this case, for example, it would be 200. Why is the male one cheaper? That's not fair. Ugh, whatever. Okay, so for 2,995 EMP, and again, as I've said before, EMP is unmasked points, and that is a currency that you purchase with actual money, you can flat out buy the costume. But if you don't have that kind of money or you want to try your luck, you can get a loot box, and the loot box will have maybe that costume inside, and you won't know until you open the loot box. Those are cheaper. It's 195 EMP a piece, but there's no guarantee that you're going to get it. In fact, it's a lot harder to get the stuff. You'll have, there'll be something in the box, like something useful, but there's, again, the chance of you getting the outfit, it's it's like a lottery. So um, you can also have actual services, like you can get the Elite Status Voucher, buy that with EMP as well instead of gold, or you could just flat out just sign up for the subscription, which should be $15 a month. And you can get other stuff like an additional character slot, a wardrobe expansion, either change your race, change your name, change your appearance. Now, the good stuff about these is that you can buy this stuff in the store and then sell it in the game for gold, which is what I was referring to when I was talking about um, buying EMP with gold before. Let's say you don't have enough end mass points, but you want to get an appearance change voucher. You can either go to the auction house and use gold to buy it instead of using money to buy it online with EMP, or you can find a player that is selling their EMP. They have a lot of end mass points. They don't really need them, but they need gold in game. So they will give you their exchange rate, most common one I've seen would be 12 gold for one EMP, and you pay them the gold in the game and they'll buy this item for you and trade it to you. Obviously that takes a level of trust, but you know. So yeah, um, there's just one more item that I want to show you guys and I cannot find it for the life of me. I don't know where it is. I don't know why I can't find it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is this damn thing? I just want to show you guys like that rewards thing and I can't find it for some reason. I mean it's not the end of the world if I can't but like I just wanted to show you the the rewards tier thing and just kind of how it worked. I don't know why I can't find it. I feel so silly right now. Ugh. Okay. If I can't find it in the next like two minutes I'm just going to be like forget it. I'll show you guys some other time and then we'll move on to checking out the world. But I feel like it should just be here somewhere. I don't know why I can't find it. That's not what I'm looking for. Oh my goodness, where is it? What is going on? Why can't I find it? Why can't I find it? No, no, this is this. Oh my goodness, I really can't find it. I really can't find it. Uh. Okay, you guys, I guess I'm going to show this to you next time. I'm really sorry about that. I don't know why I can't find this darn thing. That's so silly. I mean, it's just so silly. Maybe I can find it under here. No, this is just a calendar, though. Gosh. Oh, well. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Welcome message. Maybe it's somewhere in the welcome message. Oh, I don't see why it would be. Oh. I don't get it. Mm. This is so silly. I mean, alright. Alright, you know what? I'll figure it out and I'll show it to you guys in the next video. It's just so silly. I just, I can't believe I can't find it. <laughs> like, what? What's going on? Alright, I'm just opening a bunch of buttons, so never mind. Alright, screw it. Okay. This is Lumbertown, and I am going to... I know I have a flying mount. Where's my flying mount? Why is my non-flying mount on my thingy? Come on, where are you? Do I not have a flying mount on this character? <gasps> oh my god, I don't have a flying mount on this character. Okay, so I can't use this character to Oh wait, yes, I do. I have elite. I can use this guy. Phew! Okay. That was almost a problem. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're going up in up and um i can't go too high up there's usually an altitude limit which is so dumb and i hate it but the game has that so this is lumber town it's very cute and rustic and very farmland looking lumber town is a beautiful zone those castles in the sky by the way those are owned by guilds there's like a top 10 um every season for pve and pvp 
So there's 20 castles that get awarded total. And basically they get to choose the kind of castle they want and where they want it placed. And they get their own castle in the sky. It's pretty cool. But yeah, this is Lumbertown. I'm trying to move like a little bit slower. I'm sorry, I don't want to go too fast. But I'm going to lose my flight time in a minute anyway. So I'm just going to fly forward for a minute. Or rather run in the air. It's so weird to fly on mounts that look like wolves because it's not like, they don't look like they're floating. They just look like they're running in the air. It looks a little bit weird. So here we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to, I'm going to send the sun because I'm just going to fall in a minute if I don't. So I'm going to get my, uh, there we go. I'm going to get my bar all the way up and then I'll fly back up and show you guys. This place is just very green, very calm, very summery. Nice little calm, beautiful place. Very farm-like. Just pretty and calm and sweet. Nothing too serious going on here because this is the starting area. One of the starting places, rather. It's chill. Beautiful mountains. Beautiful scenery, nice and green. Stuff like that. Nothing too strange. I wish you guys could hear the music, but like I can't get it to work to record the music simultaneously for some reason, so... I'm sorry about that. There's another area nearby, um, this is closer to Crescentia, I believe, and this one is more of like a very autumnal colors here, but basically the same type of thing. Isn't it pretty, you guys? It's so nice. There's a lot of BAMs in this area. If you remember, BAMs are big-ass monsters. So like if you wanna if you don't really want a quest and you just wanna do some grinding, this is a good spot to do it when you're in the twenties levels. Because this place has a bunch of bams up ahead in the north. I'm gonna go ahead and land before I fall. Descending. Okay. So this is this zone. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the next one. I'm not gonna show you all of them, I'm just gonna show you this on the highlights because this video is already probably super freaking long. So I'm just gonna show you like my favorites. Um, let's see, so the next one is, I'm going to go to this one. Okay, we're, the zone we're going to now called Pora Elenu is the Ellen race area. That's the little chibi ladies. And it is the most gorgeous zone in the entire game. There's a couple of zones that come close to being most gorgeous because they're stunning as well. But the first time I saw this, I almost fell out my chair. So freaking pretty. OMG. Check it out. I'm going to go ahead and get on the mount like right away so I can fly up and just show you guys. It doesn't look like much from this end, but it's starting to look pretty and pretty and pretty. And oh my God. And ah, isn't that gorgeous? You guys, do not tell me that that is not super stunning. Look at this! Look at this! It's so pretty! It's like, if fairies were real, this is where they would live. Look how freaking gorgeous this is! It is the prettiest zone in the entire game, like, bar none. It's so beautiful. I can't. I really can't. It's so gorgeous. It's gorgeous! I wish it could let me fly like a little bit higher, it's not what I mean. It's maximum altitude height over and over, but like, ah. Oh! It is so pretty. You guys. Don't you wish you could live here? I sure do. It's so lovely. I'm just gonna hover for a second. Oh. It's like a giant flower. So pretty. Look at that sky. Look at that sky. Oh my goodness. You guys, come on. Like, gore just really, really beautiful. So beautiful. I'm going to zoom in just so I could, like, give you guys, like, a bit of a, as first person as I can. There used to be command for that. What the heck is it? Why can't I remember it? There's the bow, by the way, that I want to show you guys. A little ninja bow. Anywho, yeah. Um, beautiful! Look at that. It's so gorgeous. I want to live there. Oh my god, I'm not even kidding. I want to live there. It is so pretty. Okay. 
So moving on, because I could just sit here for hours and just look around. I'm not joking. Um, da, 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 da. Where else can we go that's nice and pretty? I'm trying to remember. I haven't been around to these places in a minute. A hot minute. Um, <clears throat> I think Alimanthia. Well, that's the city. I can't go to a city because it's going to lag. Mm. Oh, wait. One of these guys. Tree of Trillion. I remember these guys were pretty. Let's go there. Let's check them out. Not as beautiful as this, of course, but still pretty nice. <laughs> I'm just showing you guys, like, the nicer stones, in my opinion. That's some interesting fan art. It's, like, simultaneously, like, childlike and sexy, and it's disturbing me a little bit. Yeah, sometimes the loading screen is just fan art that people did from, like, previous contests. This one got an honorable mention. I just wish she was wearing more clothes. Because I know she's supposed to be one of the Ellen, and it's just like, okay. Mm Alright, uh, here we are. Oh, that's right, I remember this place. Um, this place is very green and very woodsy. This is like, I'm trying to think, like, what can I compare this to? This is not where fairies would live, this is where wood nymphs would live sort of like a very earthy you know what you know what this is a very fern gully the last rainforest kind of place or at least that's what it makes me think of it's very lovely it's just super it's like this green lush forest with some fantastical flora fauna as well but we're focusing on the flora right now i love this bridge i wish i could go up on it but it's not letting me <laughs> Why? Why won't you let me fly on the beautiful bridge? Oh my goodness, I'm stuck. Hold on. <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. I have to fly onto the bridge. Well, let me fly over the bridge, which is a bummer because the bridge is pretty. By the way, these things, I know you probably are thinking, what the heck is that? Um, when you use the flight path and you fly on a flying mount from one area to another through like a portal, you fly through those guys. Oh, and I'm going to descend because I just lost my... At least you don't like fall to your doom. It just makes you rapidly descend and then you could recover it, but yeah. Here we go. Duh. Okay. All right. So yeah, you guys can see this place. It's very lovely. Very like ancient ruins that have been overrun by wood nymphs type of feel. I feel like that's how this place is like. Definitely gives me that sort of feel. Isn't that nice? It's so pretty. I love the colors here. The colors are fantastic. Lots of purples and autumnal shades, just, ah, so pretty. There's nothing like a beautiful zone in a game, I gotta say. It really, like, makes it more enjoyable to quest here, because I have to say that Terra would get repetitive, for sure, because there's, it's very linear. There's one zone for every set of level ranges and if you make a new character you have to go to the same ones over and over and over again so it does help that the zones are super beautiful because at least it's like well i don't mind doing this place over again because it's really pretty here or at least that's how i feel about it how do you guys feel about it do you feel like the aesthetics of a game make a difference on you playing it because personally and if it makes me a snob i don't care but personally for sure like it makes a huge difference to me if a game is beautiful Part of the reason I even started playing this game at all is because it was beautiful. That was basically it. There was a particular place here that I wanted to show you guys. I think it was Lightwood. I'm trying to remember. I don't want to like waste time going around to everything, but I do want to show some places. I think it was Blightwood actually, I'm trying to remember. And it doesn't sound very pretty, but I do think it was. Maybe it was Timeless Woods. We'll find out. Look at that water. Look how beautiful and crystal clear that is. Oh my goodness. I don't think it was Black Widow. I think I'm going the wrong way. Might have been Timeless Woods. You know, I don't really remember anymore what it was here that I thought was so beautiful. Turning! Um, it's a nice zone too, but you know what? I just realized it's not the most beautiful one. Maybe I was thinking of the Blessed Basin. Let's go up there really fast. That's in the north there. Another cute little town, very typical. Pretty fountain. I think it's actually towards the Timeless Woods. I think I, it's because I saw like unicorns or something. Where are the unicorns? I know in one of these directions we have unicorns. Oh, there they are. There's the unicorns. 
That's not what they're called, but they're unicorns. <laughs> See those guys down there with the big ass horns? These guys are unicorns. They're the unicorns of Terra anyway. Yep. All right, I can't remember what it was here that I want to show you guys, and I don't want to waste too much of your time, so let's just move on to another zone that I know is pretty as soon as I remember what it is. <laughs> I'm not trying to be annoying, I swear. It's just, it's been a while. Um, okay. Oh, oh, okay. So Dragonfall and Scythera Fae for sure are gorgeous. I think one of those were the ones that came super close to beating out poor Elenu for my favorite. Didn't do it, but came close. Another awesome loading screen. They have really nice artwork. Whether it's fan art or develop art, it's pretty damn nice. Okay, I'm glad it's loading fast. I didn't want to like waste too much time. Okay, so I'm going to show you this one. I'm going to show you Dragonfall, and then I'll show you Scytherafe, because Scytherafe is even more beautiful than Dragonfall, but Dragonfall is super beautiful. Here we go! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to show you this one, because, well, it's pretty. <laughs> I want you to see how pretty it is. Alright, here we go. Oh my goodness, you guys. You know what I like about this place is the plants. It's not so much that the zone itself is any particularly, like, beautiful. It's just, like, grass and rocks and stuff. But look at these plants. They are so unique. They look like giant blueberries or like they look like those weird mushrooms and do like the spore thing like this one on top. I'm going down towards to where um, you guys can see that better. Again, the whole maximum altitude limit. I'm sorry about that. It's not letting me go up very high. Those are mushrooms. You see these big, big, big dudes right here? They're mushrooms. Oh, yeah. Massive mushrooms. But they're like in the air. Oh, crap. Um, It made me fall. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit lower just so that it doesn't make me fall. Oh, look at this. Look at these plants. I'm just going to hover because it's not letting me go any higher. Look at this. Do you see this? It's so pretty. First of all, that sky. Wow. Second of all, the plants. Wow. I mean... Oh my gosh, if purple is your favorite color, and it is mine, this place is amazing. It's so pretty. They're like peacock feathers on these plants. Like, what the heck? If a peacock was a plant, that's there. That's it. That's it. Right here. That's them. So freaking beautiful. I mean, like, you know... It amazes me the stuff that they came up with in this game. It's just so stunning. Oh, I ran out of flight time. I'm not done yet though. I wanted to show you one more little spot here. It has like a bunch of flowers in it. It's cool. We can go there on foot. You see those like glowing plants in the front? My goodness. There's like this patch over there and it has just like a bunch of flowers. I still have to take you screenshots there. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, yeah, there we go. This is where it's turning, like, oh, my goodness, you guys, wait till you see this. If you really like blues and purples and stuff, oh, the ground here, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, it's so beautiful. Would you just look at these colors? You have these white, sort of almost crystallic like trees, and then we go down. The ground is covered with these flowers. And this like purpley, greenish, bluish sort of grass. It's so nice. It's really, really unique. Let me see if I can go in there. There was like this little, I'm just gonna go down this little creek because I'm trying to find that little spot of flowers that I wanted to show you guys and I think it's over there. Look how pretty, oh my goodness. It's almost like the trees are winter but the ground is spring. It's so different. I hope it's not going to, aww, I don't want me fly through. Well, that's okay. You guys can still see what I'm talking about. Isn't it lovely? Oh my goodness. So beautiful. So beautiful. I know I can't fly. I'm moving. Calm down. All right, I'm just going to land here. And then I'm going to teleport. <laughs> if you thought this was nice, I cannot wait to show you the next one. Oh my gosh. Okay. Scytherafe. Here we go. Ooh. Y'all, 
oh if you like purples and blues oh my god oh I can't wait till the screen loads like it's so so pretty like you will understand why this zone is tied for my favorite with the first with for LNU okay first of all when you first zone in and everything is purple you want to cry okay because wow well purple and pink I'm sorry excuse me what are we the most beautiful place in the world? I think we are. Oh, this thing needs to go away. Go away. I don't need you here. All right, whatever. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Sorry, lag, lag. Um, this is like an extension of Port Elenu, which is probably why it looks the way it looks. This town is definitely like another Port Elenu type town. Well, Ellen type town, hence the beautifulness. But yeah, let's just check it out. Let's look at this beautiful, beautiful waterfall. Oh, isn't that so lovely? So lovely. Look at that water, that crystal clear water. Oh my goodness. Oh, ignore that. Some guilds were fighting one surrenders to the other. So all these little bridges are like these very woodsy bridges with like the flowers all over them. And essentially everywhere you go here is just purple and green and blue and pink and like a pearly shimmery white it's essentially like the last part in the last zone that i showed you but like a whole zone for that plus with a little bit of poor new flare thrown in i mean oh my goodness it's so pretty i'm sorry for the lag look at these trees look how vibrant those colors are and then we have like the white to offset like again it kind of gives you the impression like the trees are winter but the ground is spring like an ethereal fairy sort of spring. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. You guys! Oh, I can actually fly pretty high here, yay! Oh, thank goodness, I can give you like a nice aerial view. Yeah, of course, now that like I'm running out of my bar, but let me, I'll show you as much as I can before it makes me go down. Oh, it's so lovely. It's so lovely. I'm falling. Well, I'm diving. Descending, they call it. Dive to your doom in a rapid descent. All right, I'm gonna stay on the ground a little bit. Just show you guys around. Stop being laggy, please. I'm recording, it's rude. All right, I'm gonna try to avoid these little mobs. Not because I like can't fight them, I just don't want to. <laughs> I'm busy showing the Splenda. Ooh, there's a really cool, like, I'm not even sure what that is. It's almost, oh, it's a giant clock, and it has that pendulum, and it just swings, like, oh, it's so freaking cool. My goodness. I mean, just, it's beautiful, guys. It's really, really beautiful. So basically, this whole zone is like that. I mean, I can just keep going, but, like, it's more of the same. So, um, okay, I'm just going to show you one last place. I will show you the Island of Dawn. Um... Actually, no, I'm not going to show the Island of Dawn. You know why? Because it doesn't look like the Island of Dawn anymore, and it'll make me kind of sad. Um, let me see. Where can I show you this? Something really different. What was that place called? It was like super... I think Frontera. I'm going to show you Frontera, because I think that's what I'm thinking of. Um, it's basically just like Ice Town. It's really, really cool. But, um... Really, this got an honorable mention? Uh, Alright, if you say so. I mean, I don't mean to be judging harshly or anything. It's just... Uh, I feel like I've seen so many better ones for this. This is cute, but... Meh. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're not here for this. It doesn't matter. Okay, come on. Load, load, load. I just want to make sure that I, like, took it to the right zone. I'm thinking of, like, this very wintry place, and I don't remember if Frontier is it. Uh, nope! <laughs> That was not it. Whoopsie. Okay, I'm sorry. I took the wrong spot. I apologize. Um, I, I'll remember. What's it called? Maybe a carom. Let's go to a carom. I think it was a carom. Probably wasn't a carom. Oh my goodness, I can't remember. I'm so sorry. It's been such a long time, you guys. It's. I'm really not like. I haven't played this game in a mad long, just because. Not be. I don't. I love this game. It's just time. You know, time is not my friend. This is nice. Well, I'm not entirely... How is she holding the gun? It doesn't seem like she is. It's just behind her. It's 
pretty. I like it. Nice wings. Nice hair. Hmm. Okay. Load. Let me see. Please tell me I picked the right one this time. <laughs> this is embarrassing. I just wanted to show you like the last zone. I really want to show you guys. I hope it's the right one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, okay, good. Phew. I was like, please don't let it be the wrong one again. Okay. Look, this zone is if you like snow, ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Welcome to Hakaram. Oopsie, I didn't mean to click that. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna do a fast little because it's literally all just a bunch of snow. There's not even anything to say, so just ice world. Ice world. All the ice in the world. And we're lagging. Okay. Oh my goodness. And we're lagging again. I can't move. Okay, sorry about that, guys. It's hoody. I'm trying to move, but it's just like, nope, I don't wanna. This is all like a like a frozen tundra sort of area. It's just a bunch of snow and ice and and giant glaciers and giant mountains and in there's one like frozen lake sort of clearing and it's just full of these massive bams that are hydras that will kick your butt. So if you enjoy a challenge, oh my goodness, my fiance and I when we initially encountered them, we were just grinding bams for experience. And it was difficult. And we're lagging. Okay. Let's give it a second to catch up on itself. I don't know why it's lagging so terribly over here. Oh my goodness. What is going on? I'm completely frozen. I don't like it. Sorry, you guys. I don't know what happened. Goodness, it lagged out so hard that I ran out of freaking flight time. All right, let's go on the ground a little bit. Oh my goodness. Go, go, go. I can see that there's mobs around me. Like, I see the little name plates just flying in the air, and I'm like, I don't want to aggro any of them. Oh my goodness, this lag! What is going on? This game, I swear. Like, this has been an issue lately, guys. Like, I don't know what's going on. And I thought it was me, and it's definitely not me. Everybody's been saying that Terra's been having serious lag issues lately, and not just in the city. Okay, is my character on the floor? What is going on? I'm so frozen, I literally don't know what's happening. This is terrible. What's happening? Okay, I can see on the mini map, there's two, like, mid blink dots, which means I aggroed mobs. And see, there they are on top of me, but I cannot even see them. Do you see this? I literally can't see the mod. Oh, now I can see the mod. This is ridiculous. That lag was terrible. Okay, let me just kill them to get them off my back. If it lets me. Oh, that was not good. Wow. Y'all, um, I'm sorry about that. But I mean, I guess it's, it's a little bit of something y'all can see for yourselves. Be careful with the lag. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I just wanted to show you this, this area particularly because I think it's really cool. Do you see this? This is a frozen, like used to be i mean you can see the sea behind it but this also used to be sea and it just froze over and you can see all like the underwater wildlife still on the ground but frozen over and this shipwreck in this massive glacier so freaking cool isn't that so cool looking look at that isn't that beautiful i'm not a big fan of snow and ice but i had to admit that this is gorgeous very very lovely quite unique oh don't know what that spire is but it looks awesome and um if i get a little closer to the ground i can show you guys some of the hydras that i was talking about because i need to dive down anyway these are not them they're just little mobses i love that the ground has these little they almost look like bubbles but do you know what they're actually supposed to be those are supposed to be dried out frozen jellyfish how cool is that? That is such an interesting detail that like you just would not expect to be included. Okay, let's just be on the ground a little bit so I can show you guys better. Like a close-up sort of view. I'm looking for the Hydra. So I can show you guys what the monster looks like. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be somewhere around here. I could be wrong though, so... There's another zone that's similar to this that has Hydras and stuff, so... I might be thinking of that. <laughs> or maybe they're over there. 
Because the guys around us right now, like those big guys with the sides over there, those are BAMs, but they're not the BAM that I'm looking for. It's not the right kind of monster. Although I do want to show you guys, like, the beach. There's some more shipwrecks over there. Look at this water. That is a beautiful, amazing color. Like, wow. Gorgeous. Okay. These guys are Nagas, and there are BAMs also, but they're not the BAMs we're looking for. And I do believe the Hydras are down there. I'm going to show them to you guys while we look around. Look at this place. It's so beautiful. I'm like loath to admit that because I'm not a fan of the cold or the snow or any of that. I get, I live in New York City. We get, this is basically outside right now, so it's not fun. And um, seeing it in game is just like, well, I don't need this. All right, I can't find the hydras, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. You can actually go up on this area, and there's like quests here and stuff. It's called Glacial Bay. It's really beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Oh my gosh. Oh, and you know what? It even has a cool little thing that I can show you guys. Because it did mention that if I saw anything like unique or cute, I would show y'all in the game. And this is a good example of that right here. It will be in a moment, as soon as I get to it. Um, and I'm not talking about the dirigible, which I'm not sure what that's for. That might be for a quest or for transportation, actually. It might get you somewhere. What is up in that spire? Maybe this dirigible takes you to the spire. But anyway, what I want to show you guys, you see these stepping stones? A lot of times in the game, it'll have like bits where you can use these stones to access little hidden areas, or even sometimes like the quest will be to access somebody that can only be gotten to via these stepping stones. And they're honestly like one of the hardest things in this game, or at least they were always were for me. In the case of here, like these are for decorative purposes because as you can see, they lead nowhere. But there's literally parts of the game where, like, you are meant to hop up on those in order to achieve the area that you're trying to reach. And it's freaking hard. You guys, look, this is a really good shot. Look at the sky. I mean, uh, look at this whole panoramic view. Like, it's so gorgeous. Okay. I think this video is super long already, so I'm going to stop right here. Um, I do appreciate you tuning in, you guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more of this game i'd be more than happy to film more because i love playing this game it's beautiful if you want to see the rest of the zones that i have shown you here even though i don't consider them as gorgeous fine no problem well let me know and i'll show them to you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and wave goodbye oh she doesn't do that <laughs> what about greet there we go she's waving let's pretend that that wave is a goodbye wave <laughs> make sure to subscribe to my channel guys i put out new videos every monday wednesday and friday and I hope you enjoy this and we'll come back again. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.